The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a victory for we, the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast from presidential ticket in the history of the nation, 74 million. Tonight, we're seeing all over this nation, all cities and all parts of the country, indeed across the world, an outpouring of joy, of hope, renewed faith, and tomorrow, bring a better day. And I'm humbled by the trust and confidence you placed in me. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify, who, who doesn't see red states and blue states, only sees the United States. And work with all my heart, with the confidence of the whole people, to win the confidence of all of you. I'll have the honor of serving with the fantastic vice president who you just heard from, Kamala Harris. who makes, makes history, history as the first woman, first black woman, the first woman from South Asian descent, the first daughter of an immigrant ever elected in this country. Don't, Don't tell, tell me it's not possible, possible in the United States. It's long overdue. I'm proud of the campaign we built and ran. I'm proud of the coalition we put together, the broadest and most diverse coalition in history. Democrats, Republicans, independents, progressives, moderates, conservatives, young, old, urban, suburban, rural, gay, straight, transgender, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. I mean it, especially those moments, and especially those moments when this campaign was at its lowest ebb. The African American community stood up again for me. We've always had my back. And I'll have yours. We stand at an inflection point. We have an opportunity to defeat despair, to build a nation of prosperity and purpose. We can do it. I know we can. I've long talked about the battle for the soul of America. We must restore the soul of America. Our nation is shaped by the constant battle between our better angels and our darkest impulses. And what presidents say in this battle matters. It's time for our better angels to prevail. Tonight, the whole world is watching America. And I believe at our best, America is a beacon for the globe. We will not lead. We will lead not only by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. I believe in the possibilities of this, of this country. We're always looking ahead. Ahead to an America that's freer and more just. Ahead to an America that creates jobs with dignity and respect. Ahead of America that cures diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. Ahead to an America that never leaves anyone behind. Ahead of America that never gives up, never gives in. This is a great nation. It's always been a bad bet to bet against America. We're a good people. This is the United States of America, and there's never been anything, never been anything we've been able, not able to do when we've done it together. Folks, in the last days of the campaign, I began thinking about a hymn that means a lot to me and my family, particularly my deceased son, Bo. It captures the faith that sustains me, and which I believe sustains America, and a hope and I hope it can provide some comfort and solace to the 230 million thousand Americans who've lost a loved one to this terrible virus this year. My heart goes out to each and every one of you. Hopefully this hymn gives you solace as well. And it goes like this. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, and make you to sign like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. And now together, on eagle's wings, we embark on the work that God and history have called upon us to do. With full hearts and steady hands, with faith in America and in each other, with love of country, a thirst for justice, 
Let us be the nation that we know we can be, a nation united, a nation strengthened, a nation healed. The United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, there's never, never been anything we've tried we've not been able to do. So remember, as my grandpa, our grandpa used to say when I walked out of his home when I was a kid up in Scranton, he said, Joey, keep the faith. And our grandmother, when she was alive, she yelled, no, Joey, spread it. Spread the faith. God love you all. May God bless America, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you.